There he is. Hit it. Oh, got him. Got him, got him on the swim bait. Oh shoot, a giant, 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 big bass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is going on guys? It's Eric for Atypical Outdoors and today, we're gonna talk about your favorite subject and that is swim baits. Swim bait 101, we're gonna go over my whole collection of swim baits. Now, hey man, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie man, uh, it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> so let's get straight into this, but before I go into these baits, I do wanna break it down slightly so you guys know the different types of swim baits and the motions and how they swim in the water. Let's go. First off, guys, you have a glad bait. This is simply a bait that's simply cut directly in half. Now, with a glad bait, it has a S-like swim. It's very wide and methodical. Now, with a glad bait, you have the ability to simply interact with the fish. It's a super unique bait. Uh, you can do like a half reel and make this thing glad, very tight. You can fish it slow, and it will have a very wide glad. If you have a fish following your bait, you can reel it and pop it and make it do a 180 and directly turn the fish. Uh, a lot of times when you have a fish fall with your bait, you can speed it up, uh, you can kill it. You have a couple options, but worse have worse for me, the best is me speeding it up or either popping it and making it do a 180. That is a glad bait. Let's get into the next style of swim baits. Now, that is gonna be a multi-jointed bait. As you see, it is cut in multiple pieces. Now, as a new person who's using swim baits, I would recommend this. This bait is gonna be the easiest to allow you to step into the game. Uh, this is like a six inch bait, it's multi-jointed. You cast it out and you just reel it straight into you. Super easy, effective, and it gets bit. Also for me personally, this style of bait tends to do a little bit better for me in muddy water because I can fish it fast, push more water, it allows the fish to fill it more through the lateral line and rack to the bait. That is a multi-jointed swim bait. Next, you have a weight bait. Weight baits are pretty cool. You actually can crank them down and they go down below the surface. Also, you can fish them slow on top of the surface and they create that V in the water simply going like this, back and forth, back and forth. You get some pretty epic top water blow ups on weight baits. So pretty legit, legit bait, sorry. <laughs> also, they work super good when bass and bluegill are on bed. You can actually just swim it right on top of bluegill bed and this thing gets demolished. Now guys, I know you in here to hear me break down how these things are made and the different types of baits, but I wanna just tell you a couple things before we get into this video. First off, with some of these glad baits, and swim baits like these. This is like a six inch swim bait. For this bait, usually I use like 20 to 25 pound mono. It's not a super heavy bait. I mean, this thing probably only weighs like two ounces. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, a bait that's in like the six ounce range or a bigger bait, sometimes I go up to 25 to 30 pound uh, line. So heavier line, heavier bait. Uh, you have to put a lot of pressure on those fish, get them in quickly. Because when a bait weighs a ton, you have a four to five pound, sorry, four to five pound ounce bait hanging out of the fish's mouth. You have to be able to set the hook and drag that fish in because they jump out the water, thrash around with this big bait waving back and forth. It gives them really high odds of throwing this particular style of bait. Now, guys, let's get in to my whole collection of swim baits. Let's go. This has to be one of the first baits that actually got me into swim bait fishing. This is the Gantrail. I believe this bait comes in right around five inches. Now, super great bait, guys. It looks like a glad bait, but it's actually still a multi-jointed bait. This thing is used, abused, destroyed. It's ha it has a fin missing here. Uh, it has an eye missing on this side. This thing has been chomped. I call everything from three pound bass up to an eight pound bass on this particular bait. Now, one of the cool things about this bait is you actually can use it a ton for bed fishing. It actually has a spot on it to where you actually can put a weight on the end 
uh, the fish's mouth and it allows this bait to travel straight down and sit in the bed. And you can just shake it in a bed and this thing is deadly, guys. I know it looks big, but it's not. Uh, it's been points in time where this bait was all the way in a fish's mouth. So this is the Gantrail. Excellent beginner bait. Uh, you can fish it a little bit slower than something like the Bull Shad. Uh, and it just lasts. Uh, multi jointed bait, super good. Highly recommend it, guys. If you're thinking about getting this swim bait fishing, this is a great bait to start with. This is the Gantrail. Next, guys, Old Faithful right here. This thing is used and abused too. Uh, it still catches fish. Uh, this is one of the few swim baits where you can go out at any point in time and get bit almost uh, during the right conditions, you know, in spring and in fall. Uh, some of these baits that I have, man, you may go, I don't know, 15, 20 trips without getting bit. This is a bait where you can get bit every trip out. You just have to cast it, you know, cast it to spots where it's going to hold fish, like lay downs or whatnot. But all around, great bait. This is the bull bluegill. Uh, if you go back in my videos, I actually caught my biggest swim bait fish ever, which was, uh, I think, a 7-2. Now, that, that doesn't include the bait I just showed you with the Gantrell. That was on a bed fish. So, 7.2 pound. Caught on this one. Watch the fish. I actually swallowed the whole bait whole. Epic. And I caught that fish right in front of me. So, Highly recommend it, guys. This is the Bullgill, uh, made by Mike Booker. Great bait. Next, guys, this one's pretty new to me. I only had it for about four or five months. I'm actually going down to Florida tomorrow, guys. I'm editing this video and heading out super early in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna be putting this one to use. This is the Two Face Wake Bait. Uh, super wide bait. I did a video on it probably about two months ago. Uh, three or four months ago, I can't remember, but uh, it's pretty legit, guys. One of the coolest things about having a weight bait like this is you can fish it super slowly. So it's waking and creating that V in the water. Uh, it's wide. It just distributes a ton of water, and it stays in the strike zone because it's just fishing. You're fishing it so slowly. I mean, certain baits like a buzz bait, you have to fish it faster to get it to create sound. With this one, you just fish it slowly. And uh, these fish have plenty of time to see it, and it directly mimics a bluegill. That's why I said this particular bait right here would be deadly uh, when uh, bluegills go on bed. So that is a two-faced weight bait, super cool bait. Uh, you can find the guy who makes the two-faced weight baits on Instagram. So throw bait, pretty cool. I can't wait to catch a stud on this bad boy. Now, many of you guys have told me about this bait. This is the Spro 50 Rat. Uh, I have heard so many great things, guys. I actually think this year I'm gonna do like a video with me just fishing rats. I have still not caught my first rat fish, but that is not the swim bait faults. That is my fault. I don't fish them enough. And I heard rats can be excellent at nighttime. And also, guys, I show you, let's do a comparison. This is the CL8 Possum, and this is the Spro 50 Rat. So, two big, two pretty big size baits. This one is super light. Uh, this one has some weight to it. This is also like a wooden bait, you can hear. Uh, this one actually has a rattle in it. So two completely different styles of bait. This one right here takes some work. This one will work you out fishing it for a long period of time. This one's super light. Um, it is not that hard to throw gas. So if you want a bait where you can fish it uh, and not worry about being worn out, this is a good one versus this one. Uh, this one moves a ton of water. But uh, if you don't have the right ride and reel set up, you're gonna get a workout. Also, another rat I have. Shouts out to Kim. Uh, he, he hooked me up with this one. So, this is another one I'm going to be trying out, guys. Uh, white rat. So, it'll be interesting. Like I said, I think I was in a rat video. Let me know, guys. Next, we have uh, the Limit Lure Squad Bait. One of my favorite baits right now I have in my arsenal. Uh, super dope bait. I've uh, done multiple uh, videos about this bait. Uh, super cool. Has a really good glad to it. Super slow singing. So, it just slowly sinks when you fish it. Cool bait. Now, a lot of you guys are going to laugh at me. This is a swim bait that I have absolutely no faith in at all. I suck throwing the hood. This is an 8 inch hood and guys, I have no luck with it. I have thrown it. Uh, I'm not really probably dedicate the time I need to to catch a fish on the hood. For some odd reason, I feel like these fish in uh, South Georgia and in Georgia, 
do not back this fish, this bait. But I do have a couple of ideas, a couple of spots I feel like I actually can get a bit with this one. And you guys let me know too, are any of you guys catching uh, hood fish in muddy water and stained water? So I need some help. I guess, truthfully, I need to sit down, go fishing with only one bait, one rod on reel, and that is the hood. Uh, no luck and no confidence regarding this bait. <laughs> All right, these next two baits I actually made from a good friend of mine, uh, Limit Lures, really dope baits. This is gonna be one of my river baits that I use a whole lot. Looks kind of like a shad, or you could say a shiner. This is a bluegill. These bad boys will get thrown a whole lot on the river. Uh, they actually swim really well, and when you actually pause them, they don't curl up. They just go straight down, and they have a really smooth S-like swim. Try and speed up, guys. I don't wanna bore you. <laughs> This one is the big, bad, wild beat. It's actually a Japanese swim bait. This thing is massive, comes in right at 11 inches. Now, this is one of the baits that I actually will throw 30 pound line on. I mean, this is massive. Like, if I set the hook on it, uh, I'm gonna have to be able to pull that fish in. It's a lot of weight, you know, as far as this bait. Uh, I have a pretty heavy duty setup. I use the Lose uh, 300 Super Duty, a beastly reel. And I actually have two Arrow Genesis 2 that I actually use. I use the Jumbo Swim and the Large Swim. This one is definitely getting thrown on the jumbo swim bait rod. So cool bait. Most grab baits, if you fish them really fast, they blow out. This one, you can fish super fast and pause it. Super expensive, uh, unique bait. Haven't got bit on it, but I have had like an eight plus pound bass follow it for like 30 feet, but just wouldn't commit. So I have some plans, guys. Don't give up on me. I'm still trying to get bit in this bad boy. I'm also considering painting it too. Uh, paint it to make it look kind of like a bass instead of this crazy yellow color. All right, guys. Another bait that I'm really interested in fishing is the Citizens. Uh, really cool baits. Um, snagless. So I can go fishing on the river and throw these bad boys. Uh, also into grass in the swimming pool. So I think these are gonna get bit. Like I really have hopes I actually put weights in this particular one so it can be fished a little bit deeper. So work class zero, uh, citizen, seven inch model. And I brought this color cause I fish a lot of spots that have shad and I thought this directly mimicked a shad. So grass, um, the river and clear bodies of water. I will be throwing this bad boy. Now, the next one I haven't even opened yet. Big shouts out to all you subscribers who recommended this bait. This is the Mega Bass uh, Mag Slow. So I heard good things about it. I think this one will get bit. I got this color because like I said, I fish a lot of spots that have golden shiner and it looks just like a bait fish. I mean, why wouldn't it get bit? So interested to see how this one works out. Next, shout out to D-Wild TV. Uh, I have to grab the snake, another weight bait. So guys, I think it would be a dope video for me to do like a rat uh, video and also a snake video. And this fish these weight baits and see what gets bit first. So cool bait, only fished it a couple times, but I have to give it more shots. Uh, springtime and our early summer morning should be brutal with some of these rats and some of these weight baits. So I can't wait to guys to get bit on some of these pretty cool lures. All right, last but not least, this is kind of a swim bait, kind of not a swim bait, but it's pretty cool. This is the Mega Bass Buzz Jet. Heard great things about it. Another weight bait has a pretty cool look here. Uh, this one has a crazy light motion. It has these in the back of it right here that spin around and it kind of walks back and forth. It has a super loud rattle too, um, and it goes back and forth. With this bait too, you can actually crank it down a little bit too. So really cool bait, and I got that bluegill color to match bluegills. A lot of the areas that I fish have bluegills in them. Well guys, that is my complete collection. Like I said, it's not too crazy, but it gets the job done for me. And I have two more baits I wanna get. Um, one is the Bullshad 4x4. Uh, I feel like it'd be great for rivers. A lot of giant fish in my area love me lay down, so I can throw it directly by lay downs and fish that bait into lay downs. So that's pretty cool. The other bait I actually want is going to be a KBG Shad Bait, uh, popular legend. Uh, those baits are super cool. Well, guys, uh, if you have any swim baits you want to cop or any swim baits you think I should get, put down below. 
Thanks for watching and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You guys take care and tight lines.